Hey everybody, please just give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. I hope I did it right. I'm always hoping I did it right. Is it bad luck to cross both fingers? I grew up thinking that. everything mm, mm, mm. hey okay can y'all hear me really good i like the sound is good i don't need to turn it up no static <laughs> it's your time hey louise hey y'all okay am i looking at my right place because i'm looking at myself hey kristen <laughs> hey lisa patrice had to cheat a little bit. <laughs> hey, Tracy. Hey, that's a hug for you. Hey, Miss Victoria. Hey, Twana. And let me go ahead and say this. We're not starting over. We're going to do this thing and get on out of here. Hey, y'all. Thank. Hey, I'm biased. Oh, thank y'all for being here. <sighs> Andresha. I like that. Okay. Okay. So we start with the goal. Dimps, hey Gail, uh -uh, we're not starting over Dimps. I would never ask anyone to start over on their stuff. Here's our goal. <laughs> Y'all doing the shenanigans, aren't you? Early. Y'all on shenanigans early. Hey Tiffany, do you forgive me? Hey Angel B. <laughs> Maryland, they starting with shenanigans already. Okay, we have our goal, right? Hey, Niall. We're going to learn how to use a rhinestone template. We're not creating one because I'm a bling junior junior. Okay, I'm not at bling. I'm on junior junior status. After this, I might get to bling junior and then bling junior squared. Okay, we're going to move up the levels. Right now, I'm on level zero. Okay. But this is our goal. So if somebody comes in late, you can say, this is our goal. And somebody comes in, hey, Monique, <laughs> this hug is for you. <laughs> Thank you, Kalisa. Okay, so Patrice was doing a rhinestone. Patrice at Craftable Things. Bling Junior Junior. That's what I'm trying to get to. I'm biased. Bling Junior Junior. Um, Patrice at Craftable Things made a rhinestone file. She made a lot of rhinestone files. And I want to show you her Etsy shop in a minute. But when I was on watching her, because really that's all I can do is watch. Um, she, I told her that the next time I go live, Kristen, I'm not at kindergarten level yet. I'm still in daycare. Okay, I haven't made it to school level yet. Thank you, Jackie. Y'all believe in me. And what I said I'm not going to do is quit. I'm not going to quit. I'm going to get through it. Uh, but anyway, so she was making a, a shirt, and I told her the next time I go live, I would bling. So I thought I was ready, but I was already scared about it. Like I felt like I um, signed myself up for something that I would, wasn't really ready to do. You ever heard your parents say, your mouth wrote a check that your blank can't cash or something like that. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so last night I said I had to try it out. So I was with some people in my Facebook group, some of the ladies in my Facebook group, and I just stayed on and they they hung in that thing with me. We were on for two hours just while I cut this out. So this <laughs> this is the file. This is a design and I put it on a white shirt. And I was actually going to wear it. And then when I put it on, I realized, y'all, white is just not my color. Like, for me to wear a white T-shirt, I, I, I don't feel like it looks right on me. So anyway, I took it off and put it on this one, which was also made by Patrice. And it says, crafting is my therapy. So <laughs> I had to just wear it. <laughs> 
Okay, it was good, Wanda. She was in there. Tracy, you know I will. I will send it to you. So this was the one I made last night. This is a large, Tracy. I will send it to you. Um, and this is what we're going to be doing. One thing I learned last night, and I'm kind of jumping ahead of myself. Um, I want to tell you something I learned last night. But first, we have our goal. Let's look at materials next. I always think it's important to start with materials because think about it like this. Like, let's just say you just getting started and you want to make a t-shirt. Most people think, oh, I just want to make a t-shirt. So I just need a t-shirt and some vinyl. Well, you need a lot more than that. And it's important to know that before you get started, because I'm just going to be honest before I even got started. I thought that's all you need. If you want to make t-shirts, you just need some t-shirts and some vinyl. I didn't know about a heat press and a weeding tool and a cutting mat and a like I didn't know about all of that stuff. So I think it's important to know that in advance before you even think, oh, well, I can just buy some rhinestones and get started because that's not all you're going to need. You're going to need so much more than just rhinestones. Thank you, Kristen. Yeah, I, and I put on a tank top, Gail, because I was going like I put on a tank top because I was going to wear a white shirt post anything don't be scared especially if you're in my facebook group because they don't it's three rules you like it you love it or you keep scrolling that's it that's it all right so if you are ready to get started with rhinestones let's just say you know what i'm past vinyl i got that down pat i am ready to get started with rhinestone well my first suggestion is to go to uh thebabiesbooty.com because her rhinestones are everything like they are amazing they're beautiful they're packaged well um you're going to get them in a timely way they're going to be you know secure like everything about it i have not had a bad experience so um and now let me just say this here's my disclaimer i am an over shopper okay my name is delanda and I am an over shopper. I shop when I don't have to. I don't need any more rhinestones. I don't. Does that mean I won't keep ordering? No, it doesn't mean that at all. <laughs> that means that every time she shows something, I'm going to look again as if I don't already have more than I need because my channel is not built on rhinestones. Really, I do a lot of vinyl stuff and now I'm getting more and more into sublimation, but I'm just gonna tell you the truth. This is one, two, three, four, five containers of rhinestones, okay? I could have stopped at the first container because I, I, I haven't used all of them. There are a lot of those that are still unopened, okay? So that's just one my one thing. Patrice, will you please drop Eve's um, shop for her rhinestones? Because I don't have the um, link. <laughs> Not in the womb. Not in the womb, Gail. <laughs> I'm a, <laughs> I'm <a> over <laughs> Oh, Lord. Yes, Sherelle, I am. Look, now I can do the research. I right, just, I'm still in a little pre k okay so hopefully patrice will drop the link soon or dimps one of them will drop the link for eve's shop because yeah thank you um dimps i knew dimps is the moderator extraordinaire she could teach you how to moderate okay so that's one thing you're going to need rhinestones you're also going to need something now let me tell you also whenever i say something and i said i was going to make a shirt that says this but i just haven't had the time to do that Whenever I'm sharing something with you, I am sharing my opinion, okay? So when I say these are the things you need, in my opinion, so what has worked for me? So somebody else might say, oh, you don't need that, or you don't need this. You might not. I do. So one of the things that I would suggest you do need is rhinestone flock. Now, are there other ways to cut the the template without flock yes those are considered as hacks 
why use a hack if you don't have to right okay so this is what the rhinestone flock looks like it feels like velvet <laughs> what is it velvet it feels like velvet and then on the back it has like a it's like a smooth surface almost um i from my understanding is out of stock at heat transfer warehouse however it is in stock the last time i checked at atlanta vinyl i have purchased it from atlanta vinyl and i've also purchased it from heat transfer warehouse i have a lot of flock because i don't cut i don't do a lot of rhinestone stuff i don't okay so one, number one, you're going to need rhinestones. Number two, you're going to need flock. And I think it's important that you kind of like write down the things you're going to need so that when you get ready, you're not like, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. And then you realize you don't have something. Okay. All right. So you need flock. You need this um, KTM mask. Now, KTM mask. Now, I don't know what the KTM stands for. And guess what? I don't care. <laughs> I just know that this is the stuff that will transfer the rhinestones from the flock to the fabric. Okay. So it's called KTM mask. I know you can get this from Heat Transfer Warehouse. And everything that I'm explaining to you is already linked below my video. So everything that I'm talking about right now is linked below the video, okay? So this is KTM mask. I do know it's like transfer tape and like with any other transfer tape, it's reusable. So you can use it multiple times. So don't think, oh, well I cut it and now I'm finished and I'm gonna put it in the trash. You can use it until it's just not sticky anymore. anymore. And last night when I did this shirt, I was using transfer tape from when we were in that Airbnb, when I cut that last template and I made a mistake and blah, blah, blah. Hey, Ozella. Hey, Diana. Okay, so KTM mask. So, so far, I've named three things. You need rhinestones, you need flock, you need mask. Another thing that you will need is something to brush the stones in. This is what I use. It's called a trim painter. Let me see if I can put it up close. This probably costs maybe $3, maybe. But it comes with like two, it comes like with two little, um, I don't know if these are called, I don't know what they're called, brush heads. I don't know, but it comes like with two in a pack. So this was in one pack together and it's called a trim painter. I know you can get these from Walmart. They're in the paint department, Home Depot, Lowe's. Um, I don't shop, shop at Target a lot. So I don't know if they sell them at Target. They probably do. Um, but yeah, it's called a trim painter. And you just use this to brush the stones in. Trim. On here, it was called a trim. Here's the other piece. <laughs> it was a, like it was like this it looked just like that okay <laughs> trim painter this is yeah okay all right so and you can get it from amazon wherever all right so so far we're on we're four things you're going to need that like if you were in the in t-shirt the business you would know you need t-shirts right so knowing this ahead of time will help you now, here are some things that you don't have to have, but it will be helpful to have them. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I, I get you. Um, you don't have to have these things, but it will be helpful. So like the first time when I did rhinestones, when I made that blessed shirt, I did not have one of these. This is a wax pen. And somebody even commented on the video, oh, you don't have to have that. You can use a crayon. Well, I don't have any crayons either because all of my kids are, you know, older. Like my youngest child is 19. So we don't have any crayons in our house and I don't just like color in my spare time. So there's that. <laughs> so this is a wax pen. I purchased this. It came just like this from Amazon. Like it comes just like this. 
And I think this was like $11. You do not have to have this, but it's helpful when your rhinestones turn upside down, it's helpful to get them turned back over. Otherwise, you're trying to flip it over or use tweezers, and I'm not good with that, okay? <laughs> I'm just telling you, GTS, I'm just telling you, okay? So you'll need, you, you won't need it, but it's good to have it. Another thing is the Dollar Tree chopping mats. Now, I have seen under, like, when I was watching one of Patrice's videos, somebody was saying, like, you don't have to use these. You can use these other things from Amazon. I didn't even click on the link because, well, one, I didn't want to miss any part of the video because I had already asked Patrice to start over, and she didn't. Um, and then, two, I knew it would be, you know, quick and easy for me to get these. I purchased these from Dollar Tree or the Dollar Tree or the Dollar 25 Tree, you know, whatever you call it, right? Because it used to be Dollar Tree when the stuff was really a dollar. Now they've gone up. But um, I use these. They come two in a pack, right? Two in a pack. <laughs> and I mean, you, you can use the front and the back for one tip with. I'm just saying, right? Okay, I'm just telling you the truth. So, you know, and I, and I already had some of these from a long time ago. So why would I look into something else? I'm not. And y'all, if I'm not looking in the right place, because I really feel like I'm not, because I'm just literally looking at myself, pretend like I'm looking in the exact right spot. Okay? You look at the camera and you say, you know what? She's looking directly at me. Okay? Okay. So... This is what I use. Do you have to have these? No. Do you have to have this? Also, no. Will it make it easier for you? Probably yes. Okay. So, okay. Kristen, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. So these are two things that you don't have to have, but you might want to have. All right. And then you'll need, you don't have to have a heat press. I don't know if an iron would do. We don't, let me just tell you the truth. Here's a little bit of truth. Okay. Can I, am I talking too loud? No, it just said you don't. <laughs> you don't call me either. That was Madison trying to tell me not to call her. She don't need to call me. Let me tell you the truth about this. We had one iron in our house. And when those girls went off to college, I let them take the iron because I don't like to iron. If I ever have to iron something, what's going on that heat press? Okay. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm gonna just tell you that. Okay. I don't like to iron. You see these wrinkles in this shirt? Do you see this? Because they're gonna fall out. These wrinkles are gonna fall out. So I'm not going to just be like, let me iron this. I don't. Okay? If if we're going somewhere and, and I have something where the wrinkles just might not fall out, it's going to be on that heat press. Okay? Just want you to know that. Okay? So I don't care about an iron. I don't know if an iron will work on this. I'm just telling you. I'm just being honest. I don't... I'm just telling you, okay? But I do know you can use a mini press. So like this, this, <laughs> look, de-wrinkle. You better be making up words, Kalisa. I love that, de-wrinkle, okay? You can use, you don't have to have a big heat press. Now, depending on the size of your template, this might take a minute, but it'll work, okay? Andrea. Okay, got it. So everything, okay? So now we are going. <laughs> you need a heat press, yeah. So y'all got it. All the stuff. Oh, I gotta wipe my nose. Y'all didn't tell me I had some of my nose. I don't know what I'm gonna do with y'all. Turn on the heat press. And I'm gonna show you something in Cricut Design Space. One second. Okay. So I think I named what seven things? Seven. 
You need rhinestones. I, I'm telling you, I get mine from Eve at the Baby's Booty. That's where I like them. Um, you don't have to get them from there. You know, you can test out others, but you're going to end up going back over there. Um, flock, the mask, trim painter, the mats, the pen, and whatever the, the fabric, right? <laughs> it's, it's not tidy. No, it's all right. You know, this table has made a world of difference for me. This table, I love this table. Okay, you're going to need a, a cutting machine to cut the flop. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Her, her rhinestones are so amazing. So last night when I cut this, the stones I used, let me tell y'all, I used, I wrote them down. I used black diamond on the word Juneteenth and for the outline. And then at the top, I used citrine AB. Can somebody type that? Citrine AB. The middle, that green is Peridot. And Kristen was the one that said Citrine AB. So thank you, Kristen. Um, that middle is Peridot. And then that bottom um, is Candy Apple. But I'm not using um, these colors today because I'm going to put this on a black shirt. And I'm using different colors. The colors that I'm using today are, oh, and this is what they look like, just so y'all know. Like, look at that. That's Peridot. This is how her rhinestones come. Look at that. Look at, look at the packaging. Like, it's amazing. Look at that. So um, this was the Peridot. This was the Black Diamond. This was the Citrine AB, and I really couldn't decide on that because I was like, oh, everything that's yellow. And this is the Candy Apple. And really, I could have just made the whole design Candy Apple. I ain't even going to lie. Like, I love red that much. And all of these are SS10. Yes, the template is a link below. Um, Patrice, can you link that? right here but that this exact template is linked below the video because i asked her like tell me where is that template <laughs> all right but today i am using orm dorado for the outline I'm using these for the outline i'm using um not citrine a b this time i'm just going to use citrine and i'm using um emerald for the the green you gotta see that i think that's gonna be pretty and then i'm still gonna use candy apple because why not <laughs> because why not why wouldn't i all right let's go into uh hey kim let's go in hey lanetta let's go into cricut design space i want to show y'all something because when i was cutting that design last night i was saying when i was in my facebook group that I feel like the template cut better when I cut it from my Cricut Maker, and now I know why. So if you're anything like me, did she drop that link yet? I didn't see if she did. I don't know if she's listening. Patrice! I don't know if she's listening, but Patrice, if you're listening, please drop the link to that exact template. Um, now I know why that happened. Let me show it to you. Yes, uh, Courtney, because red. I did not post a template about how to. She's listening. Okay. About how to make a. I did not post a video about how to make a template because I think you might have missed that part about me being a bling junior junior. Okay. I'm not there yet. Not quite there yet not quite there yet okay let me show you really quickly before we go to Cricut Design Space um what her shop looks like and hopefully we don't lose sound because y'all know sometimes 
it just don't work out the way I think it's supposed to. So I'm on Patrice's site. It's called Craftable Things. And if you look at her site, uh-oh. Hey, Ernie. Um, if you look at her site, you'll see that she has a lot of rhinestone files. So I've done this one that says, oh, so I think I did oh, so loved. Uh, but there are a lot of different files on her site. I've done oh, so blessed. I gave that one to my mom. I think that was the one I did when I was in that. Um, oh, no, I think I did oh, so loved. That's what I did. When I was at that um, uh, Airbnb, the shirt that I'm wearing, Crafting is My Therapy, that's this template right here. So what I want you to pay attention to is the size of the stones. Because one of the things I love about Patrice's files is that she makes it clear what size rhinestones you will need for your for your for your template so like right here it says like i don't know if y'all can see it really good but i hope you can it says 10 ss 10 ss and ss 10 are the exact same thing okay so you know you if you're going to be ordering from um eve's site eve is the person behind the baby's booty you'll need 10 ss rhinestones right and if you're going to use a template that requires six SS, first of all, I would say you're courageous. Second of all, I would say you have the patience of Job. Okay, that's what I'll say about that. But you'll know that you need six SS rhinestones. I don't have very many six SS because I just haven't tried it yet. Okay. All right, so 10 SS. And then like I can go to the next page and the next page like she has a lot of different files that she's created. Now this one right here that says unbothered, that's me. I just haven't made that yet, but that is me. Okay. Okay. How y'all feeling? Y'all feeling good? Y'all ready to go in the Cricut Design Space so I can show you what I learned? What I realized about my machines. Does anybody else have two machines connected to their computer? Because I'm going to show you what I learned. Feeling good? Okay, good, Kalisa. If one person is feeling good, then that's enough. All right. So let's go into Cricut Design Space. I want to show y'all something. Let me make that big. It's big. Okay. Not connected. You have three. Okay. Uh, is it Chiquita? Lord have mercy. Okay. So I want you to look right here where I have, um, you can see where I'm connected to my Cricut Explorer, right? And I don't have the Explorer 3. I just have the Cricut Explorer Air 2. Okay. You have three. Okay, perfect. Y'all are some what? Shoppers. That's what I call you. All right, so like look right here where it says I'm connected to my Cricut Explorer, right? If you go over here, right here, to, and this is what I used last night when I cut that template from Patrice. Now, the cut setting that I use is the one that's called Flocked Paper. Somebody type that in. It's called Flocked, F-L-O-C-K-E-D, Paper. That's the cut setting that I used, flocked paper. Somebody type that in, please. Flocked paper, okay? Now, I did not, I did not put that setting in either of my machines. It was already there. GTS by Lamar, perfect. Okay, so now look, if I go over here to these three lines where they call the hamburger menu, yes, I wonder, just like that. If I click on that and I go to manage custom materials, y'all still with me? Right? 
and I click on where it says select Cricut device. Now, remember, I said I have two machines connected. I have my Cricut Explore Air 2 and I have my Cricut Maker. Both of mine are connected via Bluetooth because I use my other USB setting, my other USB ports for my printers. I have my printers directly connected to my computer. I have my Cricut machines connected by Bluetooth. Okay, that's just what I do. All right, so now if I go to my Air 2, right, and it's going to bring up my custom materials, I'm going to scroll down to that one that's called Flock Paper. And it's this one right here. Can y'all see that? Are y'all still with me? I want to make sure you see what's going on right here. Because this explained why it took so long to cut it out last night and why it didn't cut as well as it did on my maker. But I want you to see. So LaShonda said yes. So right here it says that the, if I look right here, the cut pressure for flock paper on my Cricut Explore Air 2 is, 249 this second column right here is for like do i want to double cut do i want you know want it to cut more than one time it's off so it's only going to go around that dot cut that circle one time it's going to require my fine point blade and that's it okay now if i go up I'm going to click out of here because I want y'all to see something. I'm going to switch machines now. Now, remember, I did not set these settings up. These came like this. I'm going to go now and I'm going to select my Cricut Maker. Yours says 285. Okay. Now, now I'm looking at my Cricut Maker. And if I go down to Flock Paper, okay, it says this one has a cut pressure of 299 and it's going to do two cuts. So it's going to cut that circle twice. Do you see that? That's why when I cut the template with my Cricut Maker, I was able to not only cut it faster, it also had a better cut because it was going around the design twice. So just know that it, even though these machines are both connected, I didn't play with any of these settings. I didn't change any of them. And I would venture to guess, I, I agree, Kristen, I would venture to guess that if I were to look at some of the other settings, because I didn't even check, that I would find some differences. And I, and you know, I haven't set these up. Why not felt? Um, I just didn't even think about using felt, but that's a good question, Sonya. So like right here, this says glitter card stop. It has a cut pressure of 263. It's going to cut around it twice. So if I go up here and look for glitter card stock in my Cricut Explorer Air, let me see what it's going to say. <laughs> Cricut being, you use HTV flock. Okay. Let's see. You might not even have that. Glitter See now, this says three twenty-seven two times, so it's different, you know. And I and I haven't set this, okay. I just wanted you to be aware of that, okay. So today, if I were going to cut this, which I'm not, I am going to show you how I would cut it, but I'm not going to cut it because I already cut it last night, and to me that would just being honest it would be like a waste of time okay so i'm going to go back and select the cricut maker 
let me close this out okay so i'm, I'm on my um Cricut maker and what i would do after i download that file is of course i would upload it right into Cricut design space and i already have it uploaded but i'm going to upload it again just to show you right so here's the file i'm going to add it to my canvas now, when the file comes in, another thing I like about what Patrice does is that she tells you the size of the file in the name of the file. Okay. Thank you, Cybertrina. Okay. So hers, it tells you, like, if you look at the name, if you download her file, you're going you're gonna to see that in the name of it, it's going to say 11.43 by 6.71 don't change that like don't come in here like you know what i need it a little bit wider or i need a little bit short don't do any of that just leave it just the way she made it okay and this is coming from somebody with first-hand knowledge <laughs> okay okay so look what i did last night let me give y'all my tips and tricks and tricks and tips what i did let me stop sharing for one second because i want y'all to see my face when i'm saying what i'm saying what I did last night is I was, I had the file up. I had it open. I used my phone. Look at me. Uh-huh. And I took a picture of the file of what it was supposed to look like in terms of the colors. Okay. <laughs> Don't touch nothing. Come in and sit down. Don't touch nothing. Okay. I took a picture of it so that when I started cutting it and rearranging it on my cam, on my, um, uh, prepare screen I would know okay oh uh, at the top is supposed to be yellow and the middle is supposed to be green at the bottom is supposed to be red now you don't have to do yours in those exact colors but it helps to know what the layers look like that's what I did okay all right so let's go back and sat down yes that's it right there sat down okay going back Y'all understand exactly what I'm saying. Okay. All right. So we're back. And now I'm not changing the size. It's already ready. And you can look, you know, she has it already, you know, layered the way that it's supposed to be. This is the whole thing, blah, blah, blah. Right. I didn't do anything to this other than upload it. That's all you're going to do is upload it. Okay. You don't have to change anything. And then you just click make it. You're not doing anything else. Don't make it hard because it's not. Now, because of the way she created the file, it's already going to be separated the way it's supposed to be separated. However, if you know me or if you've been following me, you know that I don't like to use a lot of mats. I personally don't like to use a lot of mats. Do I have a lot of mats? Yes, because I like to say my mats have mats, okay? Right, so now I know that this part right here is my outline, right? But what I did when I cut this is I moved some of this stuff so that it would cut out on one mat, okay? So like this red right here, I knew it was red, right? I took a picture of it. So I got to these three dots. Let me see if I can make this a little bit bigger so y'all can see that, right? I go to these three dots right here and then I clicked on move object and I moved it to the bottom of that black mat and I'm gonna click confirm. And so once I go here, let me bring this down a little bit so you can see. And I just move it down here and I know that this is the red portion of my file. Okay. Yolanda, go to, you on replay. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? Is everybody okay? How y'all feeling so far? Bueller, Bueller. Uh-uh, we're not doing shenanigans, Kimberly. We're not on shenanigans tonight. Good, okay. All right, so then same thing with yellow. 
I just kept yellow right there. I will kind of move it down. And then I just took the green and I moved it over to that yellow mat and I click confirm. And I just moved that down. So I knew, you know, this one portion was yellow and one portion was green. And that way I got ready and I cut it. Okay, so instead of using four mats, because who has time for that? Not me. I got Cheetos to eat and, you know, sleep to get. Because I'm going to get my what? Nap. Okay. And then I just click continue. And then I, you know, did all my cutting. Now, because I did all my cutting last night, I'm not going to cut it again. But if I were to cut it, slop paper is not one of my favorites, right? So I would have to browse all materials and then I would do a search for flopped paper. And then it will come up and then I would choose that as my setting, okay? I will click done and then my Cricut would know. Now, if you were watching a few, I don't know, weeks ago, a week ago, you know that I tried the fast mode when I was uh, crafting with Courtney at the Crafty Brick. This one did not give me the option to do fast mode with this setting. Would I have tried it? Yes. Did it let me? No. Okay. All right. So I am going to stop sharing. Do I have to slice it? It's already done. Okay. Y'all feeling good about that? Hopefully I went slow enough. You got it. So because we're not going to waste time, I already cut the whole template out, right? So here is the outline of the, you know, the file. And then what I did last night when I was live with my Facebook group is when I cut out the different sections, I wrote down what each one was so I wouldn't have to remember because I'm a woman of a certain age and I can't remember like, oh, what color was that? And what, what did I do right? I don't remember. I don't even remember what I had for dinner last night. Okay, so I just wrote down green. So I remember to put some green stones in here, red goes in here, and gold goes in here. Now, does it mean I have to do it that way? No, but if I needed to make multiple and somebody said, I need five shirts exactly like that, I wouldn't be trying to look at it. Which one was the red and which one was the green? You know what I'm saying? Okay, so that's why I did. I just used the Sharpie. Me too, no, I'm just telling you. Right, so I just used a Sharpie and I wrote down the colors, okay? So now, um, since I already have it cut out, I'm gonna brush it in. Now, you will be able to see me do this part and prayerfully, it will not take long because I cut out some of the time, okay? All right, hopefully y'all can, let me see if I can set you up so that y'all can See what's going on. See what's going on. And hopefully I have not answered any questions. I have not missed any questions. I have answered your questions and we are rolling. As the good late Tina Turner would say, we rolling on a what river? That's what she would say. That is what she would say. I'll put this right here. It's like, is it? Okay. All right. I think I'm going to set the thing up right there so y'all can see it. Okay. Let's see. Lord, we don't want sound issues. Jesus, please don't give us sound issues. Let us be great. Let us be great. We want to be great. What happened to them? Gracious, please, and shield. Okay, y'all doing all right? Okay. 
stray yard. Okay, hold on. I'm a, um, put my phone right there so you can see me brush it in. And you know, if y'all ever say, you know what, Delonda, I do it an easier way. <laughs> I'm not above learning. Okay, some people are like, no, I don't want to do it that way. I'm not. I'm okay with that. Okay. Hold on. Okay. I'll put my phone right here. Uh oh. Hopefully it'll be enough. Let's see. Mm. Let's see. Mm. You'll see, there's not enough light. Let's see if I can add some light. How is that? That's still not enough light. Can't see it. I might have to just, you can't see it. I think I'm gonna have to just move it. I think I'm gonna have to just move it down like this. So I want you to be able to, um, <laughs> Milo needs a shirt, Lord have mercy. No, this ain't gonna work. Let me move, let me try to move this over. Hi Betsy. Move over. Let's try to move this over. Let's see. I think y'all can see that one. You can see that good enough. Okay, so I said I would use um, Orm Dorado on that part. Let me see if I can make that bigger. That's good. That's good. Now, Patrice, I know I don't know if she does the whole thing all the way over, but I'm gonna do what I do and do my what best. <laughs> Patrice, tell me if I'm doing it wrong. Putting the lid back on, just in case. And Patrice says, go in circles, y'all. I wasn't doing that last night. I was just trying to get him in the, the little hole. Hope I'm doing it right. Patrice, if I'm not, just holler at me. Holler. As Eve would say. I don't know if there's a right way. Keep sweat would say what? There's a right and the wrong way to love somebody. Is there a right and the wrong way to bling?
Now I will say that um, Eve's stones brush in easy, like they brush in very easily. Look at that! I already got that first part done. Put that one right there. I have my heat press on, but I probably can turn it off because it's going to turn off anyway. But um, she even puts the recommended um, time on there, right there. She says 350 for 12 seconds. What is that? This is called a trim painter, David. It's linked below the video. I got, I think I got mine from Walmart. I think it was like $2 or something like that. But they sell them on Amazon too. Home Depot. They sell them in the paint department. Tiffy Gale, I'm willing to make a shirt for you to um <laughs> to, to apologize. Y'all, she asked me to make a shirt. She gave me ample notice. I forgot all about it. I forgot all about it. And I felt so bad. She is one of the people on this planet that I do not mind making stuff for because she knows it's going to take a long time. Now that white one got to go to Tracy, but I will make you one if you want me to. At no charge, ma'am, no charge, zero dollars. Just let me know. I think I think these are reasonably priced, but I don't I don't really have anything to compare it to. Um, I, I don't know. Because the only other time I ordered rhinestones, I ordered them from Heat Transfer Warehouse. They have a lot of colors. They have, you know, a nice selection too. And you'll get them fast. Um, that's it. And I know some people in, in the Facebook group have ordered from Amazon. Um, I personally probably would not be ordering from Anywhere else? I just quality matters, I guess, to me. Um, Eve was does what's called a buy-in every month. I don't think it's going on right now. I think it's at the end of the month. I have personally not purchased anything in the last think, month or two because I need to use up what I have. So not use up, but use more of what I have. Oh, Patrice is explaining it. Y'all, Dimps is, she on the bling squad. I haven't graduated to that yet. I'm still on bling junior junior. Dimps, please drop your uh, channel and Eve, uh, drop Eve's and Patrice and, um, Y'all, if y'all haven't checked out Courtney at the Crafty Brick, y'all might want to check her out too. She's so fun. She does something called uh, Crafty Crafty Tuesday, where she um, she does uh, live. She goes live on Instagram, but she's been going adding um, YouTube to her live. And so she makes something that she hasn't made and you get to see the mistakes like in real time. She's fun. Y'all go check her out. But drop those links, please. Dimps and um, Patrice, she goes live on uh, Tuesdays and Fridays. 
And um, Eve does, I think, Sundays. I'm not sure. Monday. Eve, what's the day? Y'all, I told y'all, when I retire, y'all ain't going to be able to tell me nothing. You tell me. <laughs> it's going to be so good. Oh, my goodness. I, it's going to be amazing. Crafty Brick, yeah. Sunday. Sunday's at 9. By then, I'm doing what? Winding down. That's what I used to tell my kids when they were little. They would be in their room making a lot of noise. But like, look here. Winding down. They knew it meant time to go to bed. Okay. So one thing I do is like I'll go over it with my finger. I've also like taken a picture of it to see, you know, because really you think you can see, but you really can't to see if you have a stone out of place. So let me show you what else. I would take a picture of it with my phone and blow it up just so I could see it better. If you bling it by yourself, it's hard to see where you have a stone out of place. So you can kind of feel it, you know, to see if you have a stone out of place. Um, see, I'm, put, I'm moving them out of place right there. Let me get that wax pen, show you how I use that. I just put it in there like that. Now tell me if you see something that I don't see. Like I'm moving them. I hope this um, warm Dorado looks nice with these color that I chose. See how that wax pen, it just, it kind of like picks the stones up. see something out of place um it's almost like my fingers are um little magnets it's like picking them up hope i'm not missing your questions I'm actually going a lot faster than I went last night, believe it or not. Because <laughs> I promised you we were on for two hours. And I was literally working the whole time. All right, so, oh, I see one missing right here. All right, do y'all see anything out of place? I don't know if y'all can even see it. So, like, one thing you can do is, like, you know, use your phone, like, take a picture, blow it up to see if you see anything out of place. Or if any of them are upside down. Or if you have any doubles anywhere. Okay, so now, this is the hard part. This... Let me grab my shirt. So I'm going to um, just crease the shirt just to get the heat press to know that I'm still here. Like, I'm still here, heat press. Don't shut off. I'm going to just do a crease down the middle. Patrice always says to lint roll. I'm never good at remembering to do that when I'm not doing sublimation. So... 
see if I can um so I'm gonna grab this transfer tape. This this transfer tape is not very sticky. This is this has been used multiple times. Hold on one second before I do that. See these rhinestones right here? I need to put these back. Because I don't want to drop one single. Let me turn it so you can see. I don't want to drop one single stone. I'll just pour these back to uh, right here. Pour these back in there and close it. All of her containers come with uh, this like plastic band, like a rubber band kind of thing. I keep that on there just in case. Now I'm going to try this transfer tape. This transfer tape is not very sticky, so hopefully I'm able to pick it up. Uh, without any problems. So Eve always says, <laughs> okay, bye, Valerie. Eve always says, commit, don't quit. But MC Hammer says, you're too legit to quit. So you can go either one of those, okay? Too legit. Too legit to quit. Hey, hey. Right? That's what he said. Commit and quit. <laughs> We're not gonna commit and quit. Okay, so last night, y'all, I used the brayer, and I think it helped. I'm not gonna do it hard, but I am going to do it. <laughs> he had all some sweat running all over my body. Something, 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 something. Okay, let me make sure I got all of them. I'm just going over it just softly. I'm just going over it really softly. Okay, and I'm just doing this because it just makes me feel good about myself. Now I'm going to uh, peel it up. I don't know if y'all can even see this good enough. I hope you can, though. I feel like it's little. Uh-oh. See one that didn't come up. Oh, another one. As DJ Keller would say, another one. Okay. So now, let me change my view. And we will go here. Here. All right. We're going to the heat press. See? Looks like I left one. It's probably time consuming for me, Vanessa. I'm a bling junior junior. <laughs> Rosalind, you on shenanigans. Rosalind is on shenanigans. Rosalind is on shenanigans. All right, so I'm over here. We'll press this for 15 seconds. Rosalind is on shenanigans. Rosalind is on shenanigans. Oh, Orm Dorado was the right color. <laughs> it was the right color. Look at that. 
that was the right color. OMG. Should be 350. Orange Dorado is the right color. <laughs> OMG, baby. <sighs> now, I would definitely wear that. So for the, uh, the gold, I'm using citrine. I'm using citrine. So I'm going to do the, you know, I'm going to follow the same process again. Vanessa, this, this takes a long time for me. I don't think it takes a long time for everybody. But I'm a bling junior junior. So, you know, you get with Patrice. She would have already finished with like three shirts by now. While I'm still, you know, brushing. Okay. So, you know, follow somebody. That's what I'm saying. That's why she dropped her channel. You can follow her. She's a professional her and Eve and Demps and Marilyn. Drop Marilyn's page, her channel, please. Make it with Marilyn. Those are all professionals. I'm walking in there. I'm not even in their shadows. I'm behind their shadow. Like their shadow is right here. I'm behind that. Okay? So there's that. Okay. They would have been finished by now. Me? Not so much. But if you already had your dinner and you already got on your pajamas, just sit in the bed and watch. Sit in the bed and watch. Let me change my view so y'all can see. Y'all need to be able to see what's going on. All right. So here is, um, this one is citrine. Last night on that white shirt, I used citrine AB. This is just citrine. You see how fast these stones are brushing in? Now, I hope this doesn't clash too much with that arm Dorado. That's my concern now. That's my concern. Thank you. I agree. I watch them and I'm in awe. You know, but one thing I will say about them, Judy B, is that none of them are willing to start over when people join. So that might be something to take into consideration. Okay? Because I ask in a very, very nice way. You don't do it. You would think I said it like yelling. Mm -mm. They don't. None of them have ever been like, you know what? Sure, Delanda, I will. None of them. And I say please, I say please with macaroni and cheese, please with gouda, please with cheddar, please with mozzarella, like all the different cheese types. They still don't do it. Okay. I don't remember when you started over. I need documentation and receipts for that that moment because I don't I don't remember that ever. Documentation and receipts. Documentation and receipts. Don't remember that. Probably on one of those times I wasn't there.
Patrice, I don't know what you're talking about. I've never participated in a six hour live. We got things to do. I got things to do, ma'am. Okay. So there's that. Now I'm going to get that same piece of transfer tape because it's reusable. And Eve always says, commit, don't quit. And if this happens where they like shift out of place, just push them back in place. So some of mine shifted. I think the shifting happens more when um, <laughs> uh, the shifting happens more when the transfer tape is new or fairly new. It's like the stones kind of jump and it's it can be frustrating. And I'm speaking to you from experience. I have experienced that. That transfer tape is like super sticky and these are these rhinestones are like magnets to that. You hear that? It's almost like crunching a little bit. Reminds me of Lay's barbecue chips in the black bag that I love more than I should. Okay. All right. So this is the top. I feel like I missed one. I feel like I missed one. But this is an ombre look, so some of this will be filled in with green. We're gonna see if we like it. We're gonna see if we like it. Increase the pressure just a little bit. All right, while that's doing what it's doing, candy apple, that's the next color. I should do that last. The next color will be emerald. You outdid yourself, girl. Patrice, you outdid yourself, girl. Patrice, baby, baby Bubba. <laughs> wow. Patrice, you outdid yourself, girl. So I'm going to do the green. We'll do the green next because it's like red, green. I mean, yellow, green, gold. That's a lie. Yellow, green, red. Where did I get that from? So I'm going to do the green layer next, which is that middle middle part. And I'm using um, emerald. Last night I used peridot. Patrice. Girl, if I had two dollars, I'd give you one. It'd just be me and you having halfsies. It would be so good.
Eve, what's the date for the next buy-in? Did y'all already talk about that? I might have missed it. Y'all know I missed stuff. Let me go back to my June 30th. I need some more candy apple. I need a bigger container. And I only have that little one. Y'all know why it's quiet? Because your sponsor is outside with the girls. Otherwise, he'd have been up here making all kinds of howling noises. You hear that noise in the background? That's that DTF thing. This is another way to kind of smooth it out and see if you have extra. I feel like. You miss how Miss Victoria? How many rhinestones are in the little containers? Eve, can you answer that? How many come in these? Because sometimes I'll, and I meant to show y'all the stones. Um, look at this, I'm not good at this, y'all know that part. Um, I'll get eight of these. The template is linked below, Karen. It's linked below the video. The exact one that I'm using. I'm sure there's an easier way to do this, but this is the way that works for me. And I haven't ever lost one. Um Maybe you can drop um, Eve's video where she explains the buy-in. Because I think she has a whole video where she explains how the buy-in works. That might be easier than trying to type it. Okay. Oh, transfer tape. You mean same piece. Commit, don't quit. This might be the last time because this is not cooperating this time. I'm going to try to make it last to through the red. Thank you, Carol. Okay. Okay. So here's the green. Can barely see it, but start over. <laughs> Patrice, those are shenanigans. 
Those are shenanigans. We don't do shenanigans over here. We don't do it. Those are shenanigans. And we have, they have no business. No business. No place in the crafting world. Those are shenanigans. We don't do well with shenanigans. We don't do well with shenanigans. Okay. There's that. Candy apple. I, this is all I have. I need more. Dark. Hopefully, you can see it though. Oh, it's dark. Let's see what y'all think. Hey, it's dark. But you can you see? Oh, it's good. See, it's dark though. The green. <laughs> the giveaway word is pro. No, the giveaway word would be junior, junior. Um. Look. You think it's too dark? What y'all think about that? That color is um, emerald. And maybe it's because I'm comparing it to the um, this green, the peridot. See how light that was? It looks very, okay. I mean, it's nice. I just hope it's not dark. You think it's fine? Okay. And the last one is the candy apple, which is going to do what? Steal the show because it's red. And oh my gosh, I love red. Same thing, doing the same thing I did. Then the red brushed in fast for some reason. Maybe it's because it's a smaller portion of the template you know I'm just um just brush it in quickly but if y'all want to see that I can change it over So you see how I have all of all parts of this template on one of those Dollar Tree chopping mats. I just put one piece on the front and the rest on the back. The link that I have below for the Dollar Tree chopping mats is for 10, I think. It's for 10 packs, not just, you can't just get one online. You probably have to pay more for shipping than you would for, <laughs> for than the actual mats if you were just getting one. So I'm just going over it. I didn't order anything from this last buy-in. I was trying to be a responsible adult. <laughs> it doesn't always work. As evidenced by the containers of rhinestones behind me. <laughs> it does not always work out well. I'm trying to be a responsible adult. Okay. <laughs> yes, please remember to hit the thumbs up. Okay, so that's good. And I'm going to... I'm going to try this transfer tape one more time. Let me talk to it for a second. Look here. I'm going to need you to come in here and do the right thing. These people ain't got time to be wasting. Okay. It should, it should work now. You didn't. <laughs> it was like, okay, watch. Watch what I do since you're trying to 
You trying to act funny. It didn't work. It didn't work. They all out of sorts. Should have said some choice words. Then YouTube would have said, you know what, the one you're doing too much. You're doing way too much. This video is not suitable for children because of your language. <laughs> it's not even suitable for, for adults because of your language. Okay, almost. <laughs> she love, look, I'm speaking the truth, honey. These, this transfer tape has, we're going to have a little vigil. We're going to have a candlelight vigil for this transfer tape. <laughs> That's a good idea, Jesse. Save it for pieces. We do uh, In the Arms of an Angel. Far away. In the But this transfer tape has had his last hoorah. Okay. All right. Look at the red. Red about to save the day. Boom. Red is about to save the day. Red is about to save the day. Oh, that looks so super, super good. Lord, have mercy. Oh, my soul. Patrice, if this was a sweet potato pie, baby, you put your foot in that thing. But it's not. So rise so tip. <laughs> oh, Lord, she did it. Patrice, put, you put your foot in that thing. Okay. Let me make my pressure. I'm not kidding, baby. She did that. She did that template. You understand me? <laughs> baby. Come on. Girl. Girl. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> it's so good. Look at this. Look at this. O M G G G G G G G. This is good. This is wow. Wow. Oh, wait. What was um Eve say shimmy? And when she holler, <laughs> holler. I can't shimmy, but look, I shake it. If you can't shift, what does it say? What do I tell my nephew? If you can't shuffle shampoo, yeah, that. Hey, look at that. Look at that. That's good. That's real, real, real good. You know I love it. I love it. Oh, my gosh. It's good. Okay. It's good. And look, we only been on here for one hour and a half. Exactly. It is 730. And I'm getting ready to go to where? Ikea to pick up my door. So I'm going to hurry and get up out of here. But I'm going to review the goal. Did we accomplish the goal? Did we accomplish the goal?
Okay, we accomplished the goal. Very, very good. We're doing very, very good. Let me say my say. Kimberly, I'm still a Bling Junior Junior, um, but one day they might let me, you know, join the group. But let me say this, because look, that took me an hour and a half. Patrice would have been finished with three shirts, a pair of shoes, a bag, and maybe some embroidery. Okay, I'm, I just do four numbers. <laughs> so that is that. But hopefully you learned something. Um, I want to tell you, thank you for giving me your time, because when you give somebody your time, that is equivalent to your treasure. So thank you so much. Y'all want to see Milo? I'll get him before I go. But let me finish saying my say. I'm going to always say what I say about road rage. It is unnecessary. It is uncalled for. It is senseless. Don't get yourself involved in it, even if it means you're going to be late, because I am always going to be late. Um, when I get to work on time, I'm surprised at myself. <laughs> I feel like so proud. I'm like, man, girl, you did that. Okay, that's how I feel. I'm just telling you. Um, but don't get yourself involved in road rage, okay? It's just not worth it. You know, you're getting into an argument with somebody because they're going too, you know, too fast or you're going too slow or they want to go around you. I always just tell myself, this is what I tell myself. They have to use the bathroom right now. It cannot wait. That's what I tell myself. They have to use the bathroom right now, right this instant, and I am in their way. So if that means I have to pull over so they can go around me, I just let them go because I don't care. Just think about it. You don't even know that person. You, you're going to argue with somebody you don't even know. Like, for what? You're going to give them your energy? No, you don't need to give them your energy. Save that good energy for rhinestones or vinyl or sublimation or whatever, right? Save it for crafting. Take your anger out on these machines, okay? Don't be in there arguing. Turn your music up loud, your favorite music, and keep your eyes on the road. You're going to do what? Arrive alive. You're going straight. You're going to arrive alive, okay? That's what I just tell myself. So don't ever... I have never, ever been involved in road rage. And if somebody was giving me the right finger of fellowship, I didn't even see it. I would have never noticed it. They could have been trying to tell me my tail light was out. I'll find out one day when I'm trying to back out and I don't see it myself. Okay. You wash it. Uh, tell them how do you wash it, Karen. Uh, Eve, who was this? Mighty life. Hey, stinky, stinky boys. What was that? Y'all want to see Milo? Somebody let him up here. Let me see if I can pick him up. Sometimes he be acting like I'm hurting him. Turn around. Turn your body around. You be doing too much. Say hi to the people. You say hi to the people? Say hi to Awanda. You say Awanda? Yeah. Inside out, gentle cycle, cold water. Now, see, that's going to be different because I, I always do mine with warm, but she's a professional. So you say hi to the people? Okay, so no, no, no road rage, okay? Y'all be good to each other. Okay? You want me to say it to him? I wonder. One tree. <coughs> One tree, tree. Mm -hmm. One tree. Yeah, okay. You want to get down? Okay, you want to get down. You probably just had one. <laughs> you say hi to Krista. Say hi to Krista. And you say hi to Wanda. They just jealous because they don't have a wig like yours? Yeah. You got your own wig. You do? It's so fancy. Okay. Okay, y'all. Y'all take good care of each other. Go back and watch. Get all your stuff before you decide to start. Don't start and don't have everything. Okay? Pay attention to your settings in Cricut Design Space. That's important. That's very, very important. I will use this. I suggest using the settings that you saw me have in the Cricut Maker. Okay, because it's fast and it's going to give you a good cut. All right? Bye, y'all.